Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today, we celebrate the feast day of Our Lady of Consolation. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. Thanksgiving intentions of Edgardo Nino and Angela Florentino, Romy, Evelyn, Connie, and John Bison, Nena Magno, Art and Lali de la Cruz, Charlie, Michelle, and Dina Yalo, Charito, Florendo, and family, Auring Santos, and family, Boy and Mon Panginiban, and family, Karing Balesteros, and family, Vinluan, family, Thanksgiving Mass in honor of St. Ezekiel Moreno and the Feast of Our Lady of Consolation. Special intentions of Caroline Del Rosario, Seferina, Cecilia, and Patricia, Josephine and Jose Antonio, Leia Beatrix, and Yana Alisa Key. Peter Carlyle and Thomas Odin, Olasa family, Merle Angela Nagrampa, Arlinda Magno, Gloria and Jonah and family, Arlene De Castro, Rolando Reyes, Patrick Alipio, Francisco Jr. and Miracliza Montemayor, Dino and Judy Mendoza and family, Manalo family, Imperio family, Rick Huab, Dara, Anya, Jackie and Paul, Annalintan and family, Maria Cristina, Alexis, and Margaret Dorothy Santos, Perez family, David, Jose Romil, and Rachel Santos, Maxine, Joseph, and Fritz Santos, Andrea, Jobert, and Jana Santos, Francesca, Michelle Espiritu, Clarissa Velez, Grijalvo Colliantes family, Ted Reyes, Joseph, Joseph Meneses and family, Yolanda Reyes, Catalina Winio, Charlie, Michelle, and Dina Yalo, Manim Team Family, Frankie and Nora Montemayor, Rika and Rory Villapana, Phoebe and Gary Anievas, Catalina Winio, Carl and Jennifer De La Cruz, Josefina Meneses and Family, Paulino and Nena Pe and Family, Lawrence and Esperanza Fernandez, Adelina Co, Jessimi Patombon, Remedios and Evelyn Binglasan, Vicente, Victoria, and Severina Duyango, Binglas and Duque, Marcaida Families, Dr. Svik and Mario Toral, Eva Pan and Family, Rudy and Merli Del Prado, and Josie Sarno and Family. Let us pray for the eternal repose of the following. Maria Linda and Keji Hanihara, Manuel Bolaong, Norberto and Teresita Timbol, Antonio Sordan, Maria Belen de Jesus, Antonio Hilario and Jeanette, Alejandrino Pajarilaga, Armando Ampil, Hilario and Eugenio Florendo, Orlando Santos, Vicente Fumar Sr., Vicente Fumar Jr., Simeon Sr., Antonio Sr., Eugenio and Lolita Manalo, Corazon Alcantara, Genobeba, Primitivo, Andres Amante Jr., Conchita and Romy Garcia, Arsenio Ilagan, Rolando Llama Sr., Ricardo Gonzalez, Emmanuel Jose Pavia, Avelino Migraso, Thomas Leandro, Arthur Miguel, Nelson and Noel Catindig, Maria Teresa Comia, Jose and Remedios Obilios, Jose and Luz Santos, Narcisa Fajardo, Joel Regalado, Carlos Trillo, Cesenando and Rosario de Jesus, Elisa Gore, Flor de Liza Soriano, Numeriano Bolazo, Reynaldo Valle, Marcelina Paterno and Natividad Bacani, Concordia and Hilarion Espinoza, Susan Braganza, Angel Kimpo, Renato de los Reyes, Regina Cecilia Pinto, Joseph Bautista, Willie Junio, Joseph Von Road, Peter Aventajado, Virgilia and Gravia, Martin, Eugenia, Ramon, Anastasia, Isaac, Eugenio, Eugenia, Gilberto, Anna, Lilibet, Maria, Leonora, Illuminada, Serio, Edelberto, Salvador, Porin, Isabel, and Florencio Acebuque, Lourdes Noriega, Josefa Edreline, Renato de los Reyes, Anjet, Anjinette Casedo, Bernardo Honrales, Anna Rowena Roaquin, Angela Faustina, Angelina Dominguez, Pablito Equin Sr., Vicencio Pantig, Regina Joaquin, Rogelio and Rosito Ramirez, 
Benito Surda Sr., Crispolo Kinkini, Raimunda Kinikini, Dominador Villan, Relly Villan, Thomas Villan, Raimundo Villan, Pedro Ikan, Menandro Ikan, Juana Ogot, Pacifico Beltran, Adelaida Beltran, and Jeriel Beltran. Our presiding priest is Reverend Father Junisha Selma, OAR. Please stand and join the singing of the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration in honor of the fiesta of Our Lady of Consolation. We thank God that we are still able to see each other. We are still alive, and we thank you for coming despite of the pandemic and despite the 10 percentage that the government is giving us. We continue entrusting our life to the Lord through the intercession of Our Lady of Consolation. We know within the mysterious plan of God, it is also in His plan. Why did He allow this to happen? We do not celebrate the usual practices with many activities during fiestas because of this pandemic. But God has a purpose for everything, and we know that He is the conqueror of all things, even against Satan, against evil, against sickness, and all kinds of wickedness in this world. We offer everything to him, our intentions in this fiesta celebration. And to be worthy participants in this mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our sins as the Lord for pardon and mercy, knowing that he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Father of mercy, who through the Blessed Virgin Mary sent into the world the Consoler promised by the Prophet Jesus Christ, your Son, through her intercession, grant that we may receive abundant consolation from you and share them with our brethren. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come forth to those who are in darkness, appear. They shall feed along the ways on all Bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst. Neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be raised up. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult. O earth, break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes with the morning. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face. I was dismayed. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. The favor of the Lord lasts for a lifetime. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, 
who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are, com and if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. According to John, glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, I greet all parishioners and devotees of Our Lady of Consolation here present and all those who are watching this Eucharistic celebration in their home, a happy fiesta. Happy fiesta would mean joyous attitude, joyous reaction, joyful. Why? Because this joy comes from the Lord, not from the world. Joy not from the pandemic, but joy really coming from the Lord. And if it is from the Lord, that is a true joy, which the world cannot give. So therefore, it is a joy that gives us hope, a joy that gives us our own destiny, Jesus himself, our eternal life. Now, we celebrate the fiesta of Our Lady of Consolation in this pandemic uh, situation. But we know that it is still meaningful because he has given us his mother, expression, another expression of his love for us. And when you give something on somebody that is very precious and no other else are very precious than his mother, Our Lady of Consolation. Now we know that Mary has so many titles, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Lourdes, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Loreto, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of 
peace and good voyage, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary in Manawag, Our Lady of uh, Soros, Nuestra Señora de la Salud, all these are so many titles, and of course, Our Lady of Consolation. One thing is to be taken into consideration. In all these titles, we should not forget that there is only one Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Mother of Jesus, and entrusted to us, our Mother, our spiritual Mother. So I hope we will not be confused with that. Now, why is it that we have the Our Lady of Consolation administered by the Augustinian Recollects? Our Constitution, number 30 and 78, would say, communities are to venerate the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, Mother of the Order, with a special title of Our Lady of Consolation, and to offer her and encourage the faithful in their pious devotion as a sign of pure, assured hope, quoting Lumen Gentium of the Vatican II, as a sign of sure hope and comfort for the people of God on their pilgrimage. On their pilgrimage. So therefore, it is so close to the Augustinian family, Our Lady of Consolation, as a sure hope and comfort in our paglalakbay patungo sa Dios, because we are all beator, pilgrims, on the way to God. And Mary as our sure hope and companion. So Our Lady of Consolation, therefore, is given to us through the Augustinian family. But in reality, in history, just to have a, a short background, our Nuestra Señora de Gracia was more familiar in the beginning than, rather than, than the uh, Our Lady of Consolation because that Benedicta uh, prayer after the compliance, the night prayer is being mm, recited, prayed, addressed to Mary as the Beata Mater Grazie, full of grace. And later on, in the convent of Bologna, Italy, there was already that, that arch of fraternity, which is the, uh, practically composed of uh, lay people. And they have the Cofradia de la Centura, Korea, cincture, belt. And at the same time, Our Lady of Consolation, so two Cofradias at that time. And unti-unti nawala po ang, ang Gracia and pumasok ang Lady of Consolation at saka Korea. So 65 convents starting 13th century, whereas uh, Our Lady of Consolation, 26 lamang, no? 26. But in 1576, it was confused, it was fused, merged by Pope Gregory the 13th, 1576, that would mean only one. So the con our, our Cofradia of the Cincture of St. Augustine and St. Monica together with the uh, Our Lady of Consolation into the Our Lady of Consolation only devotion. And it, it is depicted in the iconography, namely the, the, the picture. So why was it introduced? Because uh, it is the pious tradition that the Virgin Mary appeared to St. Monica in her grief. Nagluksa po ang, ang mahal na Santa Monica during the death of her husband Patricius and most especially also grieving because of the vices of her son, St. Augustine. So during those grief moments, St. Monica, according to religion and tradition, Saint Monica, uh, the Virgin Mary appeared to St. Monica with the belt, giving it to... Uh, the Virgin Mary was also wearing the belt and that morning clothes and giving the belt to, the, uh, to St. Monica. That's why the Our Lady of Saint La, La Coria, no? Cincture, Our Lady of Cincture. So the Lady of Consolation is related to the Cincture. Then later on, those who followed that, that practice of wearing the uh, belt, many of the disciples or friends, St. Monica continued, even St. Augustine, as she narrated the experience, St. Monica narrated to St. Ambrose. So St. Augustine also wore that one. Just as the Virgin Mary gave the cincture to 
Saint Monica and later on with Saint Augustine and company. Mm, Virgin Mary gave also the rosary to Saint Dominic, sa, sa Dominicans. And of course to Simon Stock of the Carmelites. Those are mga signs coming from Virgin Mary uh, according to tradition. Then of course the crucified cross given to the Mercedarians. So these are part of the spiritual uh, theology, spiritual uh, history regarding spirituality. But what is important here is it is the same mother who is accompanying us throughout this time up to our period. So therefore, Our Lady of Consolation, starting 1576, was already uh, more or less scattered and it reached to us. That's why our uh, Father General included that uh, and as Augustinian, whole Augustinian family in the Constitution. Uh, part of that is uh, Nuestra Señora del Buen Consejo, Good Council. Uh, that's why the OSA, they have also the Our Lady of Good Council, the Our Lady of Consolation. So they are related, all of this. Now, when we talk of consolation, what do we mean by that? It directs our focus outside of ourselves and beyond ourselves because the tendency, if we grieve, we mourn, we have so many problems, di ba? Tendency, papasok sa, we magmukmuk lamang tayo sa loob, sa sarili natin. But when there is consolation, our tendency is, try, try, our focus is being distract, distracted we will have to go beyond that there are many people who are also suffering and even their sufferings are more than us. Consolation would mean binding us more closely to our human community. Hindi tayo nag That would remind us. So those are consolation. Then when we are consoled, we, li we are lifted, our hearts are lifted so that we can see the joys and sorrows of other people. And with that, mabawas-bawasan yung mga hinanakit natin sa buhay, mga kalungkutan, mga mga uh, sadness. So, it also generates new inspiration and ideas and we find out that sometimes sorrows, griefs, mourning are blessings from God in order for us to grow spiritually and human be as human beings. So, these are part of consolation. Now, the Virgin Mary is able to console Santa Monica and other people because he, she herself receive consolation because she could not do that without being consoled also. And number one source of consolation is no other than God himself. We have heard that in the first reading from prophet Isaiah. No? Even if a mother who bore you six months in your womb will forget you, I will never forget you. And that is how God consoles us. Kahit iwanan ka ng nanay mo. Nagdyan sa sinapupunan, kaya ang iwanan ka, I will never abandon you. That is how God consoles humanity. And we also can, uh, heard the second reading that uh, St. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, we heard that clearly that let us give thanks to the God, uh, Corinthians, let us give thanks to the God, a uh, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who comforts us and encourages us in every trouble so that we'll be able to comfort and encourage those who are in any kind of trouble with the consolation with which we ourselves are being comforted or consoled. So yan ang nagawa ng Blessed Mother. Why? Because when the Blessed Mother was also having that grief upon seeing this, her son, and you imagine, nanay, makikita mo, paano pinapalo yung anak mo, pinocrucify, and still, at the young age, was already having that mysteries that sometimes could not un he, she could not understand. She was in the temple, etc. So those moments, and God consoled her. God himself, her son. Woman, behold your son. Entrusting the Blessed Mother to St. John. In short, Nobody can console other people unless you, we ourselves also receive consolation from God. And that is what the Blessed Mother did. And we know very well that bilang nanay, she knows our needs more than any other mother, human mother. She is the new Eve, as Blessed Julian Moreno would say, the pamangkin of St. Ezekiel Moreno, one of the martyrs of Motril, Blessed Juan Moreno. 
he was saying that our mother of consolation is the same new Eve in the beginning. The new Eve who nourished us with his breast full of sweet honey, sweet hope uh, that would lead us to eternal salvation. Whereas the old Eve, Eve the original Eve, she is nourishing us with poisonous, no, poison breasts. As I called, tinawag niyang first Eve as deadly mother because the breast, uh, the, the, the milk that she gave is poison of her condemnation and guilt. Whereas the new Eve, the blessed mother, is giving us that sweet, that sweet uh, milk of grace and hope of eternal salvation. So therefore, our mother, our lady of consolation, is indeed uh, our very near to us. She knows our need. So the question now is, what are some of the sufferings, grief, mournings that we experience in our life? Because that is part of human life, whether we like it or not. No? Pain, sufferings that we experience. Although you have heard many times that there are different kinds of sufferings. There's what we call necessary sufferings, unnecessary sufferings, inevitable sufferings that cannot be avoided. Inevitable sufferings are those who, uh, that are classified, for example, the natural disasters, no? earthquake, typhoon, that is beyond, that is inevitable, cannot, cannot be avoided by us. So, wala tayong magawa dyan. There is what we call necessary suffering, pain. For example, a mother or parents had, have to work hard in order to form the children and educate them. So, kahit na... Uh, mahirap ang pag-form, pag but that is necessary in order for the children, etc. That is kind of uh, necessary, but there is, there is what we call unnecessary. Unnecessary because of the vices. Kaya nga nagwatak-watak ang familia dahil nag, uh, na, kumaliwa si mister, kumaliwa si missus. Or unnecessary suffering because sometimes binibigay, binibigay man sa atin hindi naman kailangan, katulad itong pandemic. Itong COVID-19. It is not necessary. Why is it given to us? Sometimes because it is either the, it is work of human beings and God allows it. We do not know. So these are unnecessary. And the Blessed Mother knows very well that we experience pain, grief with all these situations that we have. So what kind of sufferings we have, we can be consoled. Let us continue entrusting our life. We can offer our sufferings as an offering to God through the Blessed Mother because she herself was a witness to the sufferings of Christ and make it more salvific. That is the kind of sufferings that we entrust to the Lord. And other, we can also entrust it through the intercession of the Blessed Mother. And to honor the Blessed Mother, as Our Lady of Consolation, so we can ask ourselves, as parishioners and devotees, are we real devotees or just fanatics? We just do this because of novena or whatever we can get. A real devotee of the Blessed Mother, nagmamahal. Kahit na wala siyang matanggap sa mga hinihiling niya for many years, she ca the person continues because he is a real devotee. Whereas ang fanatic, just to wear the, the belt or whatever is the symbol of the Our Lady of Consolation, pumupunta lamang pag may hinihingi. Pag wal, hindi makatanggap, hindi na po pupunta. So as parishioners and devotees of Our Lady of Consolation, are we loving the God through the Blessed Mother? Are we faithful to God and our, our commitment through the virtues and of the Blessed Mother? Are we one with her in her following of the Lord? So those are questions as we celebrate the fiesta of Our Lady of Consolation. At the same time, other challenges that I would throw to all of us, how we grown our love for Christ these past years during these fiestas by loving his mother under the title of Our Lady of Consolation, how we learn more about the his, little history of Our Lady of 
consolation. And why is it that it is being introduced by the Augustinian family? What are the virtues of Mama Mary that uh, strike me? And I have also started in my life being obedient as disciple, being a firm believer of God, even if I do not understand many things in, according to his plans. Am I bringing Jesus to others? In what way? Do I persevere in sufferings, in the experience of sufferings? No? What are some of the blessings received from the Lord, including sufferings and pains and trials, mourning? Do I share them to others? Some people, this is final, some people would consider this pandemic not a great disaster, but a great teacher. Great teacher. Why? Because like the Blessed Mother, we are reminded that with this pandemic, we are brought back to some realities that our life has limitation that we are just passing in this world, the shortness of life. And with this pandemic, we are reminded of what is more important in life. Food, medicine, water, not so much yung mga, mga, sa mga salon na kailangan natin, yung mga extra mga gadgets or physical fitness just to make our bodies sturdy and really for, for celebrities, etc. Those are not essential. So with this pandemic, which is considered a blessing, uh, a great teacher, because it reminds us that we are all equal. Pantay, pantay pong lahat. Billionario ka, millionario, mahirap, matamaan ka ng COVID. Mamatay ka rin. It also reminds us how precious our health is. Minsan, pinabayaan lamang natin, kain ng kain sa mga bawal. Then, we, it turns out that we also get sick and even money. Cannot, cannot control death. It is also a reminder that our, how materialistic our society has become and uh, how important our family and home life is because sometimes we are focused so much of work and work and work and we do not have quality time for the husband, for the wife, for children. Now with the pandemic, we know and more and more the character of your spouse of your children, how to deal with them, and also on your part. With this pandemic, we continue also to have to be patient and not to panic. So also a realization that this world is sick because of the abuses of people, um, deforestation of, of our plants and forests, then that's the result. There are so many who suffer, they become sick, because our home, a common home, which is the earth, is sick. So in every, every difficulty, the pandemic is a great teacher because we know that there is ease, comfort. At the end of the tunnel, the darkness, there is light. And that light is no other than God himself. And the one reminding us, the Blessed Mother, consoling us, anak, even though you are suffering now, like me and others, there is a sun who is our light, who is our consolation, our hope. Let us now all son and profess our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe, believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son of God, born Lord of the Father Lord, before Lord, all ages, God, God, God from light, light from light, true God from true God, God begotten not made, made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation he came, came down from, from heaven. heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will, he will come, come again, again to, in glory, glory to judge, judge the, living the living and the dead. And his, and his kingdom, kingdom will, have, will no have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the, Lord, the, the giver, giver of life, life who, proceeds who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, who with the Father and the Son, Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one, one baptism, baptism for the, for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, of the dead and the life of the world, of the world to, come. to come. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate the wonders that the all-powerful God realized in the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother of God and Mother of Consolation, let us present to Him our trusting supplications through her intercession. And we say, we pray to you, hear us. We pray, we pray. to you, hear us. For the Pope, bishops, and all the ministers, that following the example of Mary, they may know how to transmit with fraternal and joyful spirit the happiness and consolation that come from God. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray, we pray to, to you, you hear, hear us. That the contemporary world, which at times is distant from God, may discover in Mary the way to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. We, we pray, pray to, to you, you hear, hear us. That Mary, the mother of consolation, may continue to bring comfort to the sick, the old, those who live alone, and all those who suffer and are in anguish. Let us pray to the Lord. We, we pray, pray to, to you, you, hear us. For religious men and women of our order, and for the secular Augustinian recollect fraternities, that seeing in Our Lady of Consolation the grace and help of God, we may remain faithful to our vocation as consecrated persons. Let us pray to the Lord. We, we pray, pray to, to you, you, hear us. That by venerating Mary, we may imitate her consecration, characterized by firmness and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. We, we pray, pray to, to you, you, hear us. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to the Father all our other personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. Listen, Father of heaven, to our prayers. Through the intercession of Our Lady and Mother, Consoler of the afflicted, and gladden us through her, so that we may serve you with a peaceful spirit and give witness to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father most holy, receive the offering we, your servants, bring you today as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Consolation, and grant that united with the sacrifice of Christ, 
we may obtain consolation in our present life and salvation in eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and offer you a hymn of praise, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Blessed Virgin joyously received him, who is the consolation of the world, and bore him in her most pure body. When she suffered bitter sorrows, as she stood beneath the cross of her son, you consoled her with the hope of his resurrection. As she joined in prayer with the apostles, she earnestly invoked the spirit of consolation and peace and looked forward with faith to his coming. After his assumption into heaven, she now consoles with motherly love all who call upon her with faith until the glorious day of the Lord dawns. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you and acclaim without end. Founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this kiss, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, our dead relatives, the poor souls in purgatory, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, St. Monica, and Ezekiel Moreno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage and confidence to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, from all kinds of disaster, accident, and danger. Graciously grant peace in our days, peace in the world, peace in our land, peace in our families, in our communities, peace in our hearts, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, safe from useless problems, useless worries and fears, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with peace. your spirit. As offers other the peace, the love, the forgiveness of Christ. Behold Jesus, the source of our life and love. He is the reason why we are in this world and why we are still here. He alone can give us peace, contentment that this passing world cannot give. The Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. You may now come forward to receive Holy Communion. In the body of Christ.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by the Paschal mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that even though we experience the mystery of death in our bodies every day, May we, who recall the memory of the mother of your son, our Lady of Consolation, be sustained by heavenly hope and so become credible messengers of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Oratio Imperata, protection against COVID-19. God, our, God, our Father, Father, we come, come to you in our need to ask, ask protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us now from our fears. Grant all this, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Let us pray the prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend yes. us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly Amen. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. May I call on our parish priest, Reverend Father Gideon Antolin Lagrimas, OAR. Reverend Father Hector Gonzalez and I would like to greet all of you. Happy Fiesta po, kahit po yung sitwasyon natin ay uh, medyo nakakalungkot sa tingin ng iba, pero happy pa rin tayo dahil nakaabot tayo ng 30, 33rd uh, Fiesta celebration ng ating parish. And also those um, and also those who are watching the live streaming, happy Fiesta rin po. My dear brothers and sisters, for many of us, the COVID-19 pandemic is perhaps the biggest life-changing event that we as a country, all as a whole, uh, whole world, is facing. As we all know, this pandemic has caused the closing of many events. Schools, colleges, and job loses for many people. Churches are no longer holding in-person services for some time. Events are canceled. Vacations, postponed, etc., etc. The coronavirus has caused significant declines in the world's financial markets and caused unemployment. That's why, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, it is easy for people to become bitter and frightened in these circumstances, and many will blame God. Bakit? Bakit nangyayari ito? As Father Selma would say, God allows it for us to learn a lesson. But we have this consolation from his word. Nasabi niya from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for us. It's the will of God for us to learn something, to change for the better, and to change the world. As my dear, so my dear brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate our 33rd parish fiesta, the virus cannot stop us in thanking God. We have a bigger God than this virus. He is the Almighty. He is the Creator. We have to claim that, that God is bigger than this pandemic. And He can eradicate this virus anytime He wishes. That's why, wag tayong mapaghinaan ng loob. Wag tayong bibitaw. Sabi pa nga ng isang santo, nakalimutan ko lang kung sino, every time we thank God, tumatakbo ang demonyo. Why? Because we acknowledge that we have a God who will continue to give us graces that we need. Every time we say, thank you Lord, ibig sabihin, nandyan lagi siya. He is there. He is present. He will protect us. And He will protect our soul. And that is what is important. To protect our soul from the devil. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to thank God for His generosity to the people around us. 
First, let us thank God, our Father Provincial, Father Junicio Selma, for being our main celebrant and homilist. Thank you, Pope Father. Second, for our community, the Recoletas Formation Center, headed by our Father Rector, Father Lauro Larlar, na patuloy po sila po ang nagiging gabay sa atin sa pang-araw-araw na hamon ng pandemyang ito sa pamamagitan, pamamagitan ng live streaming natin sa daily masses. Third, for the PPC and PFC members headed by Engineer Jerry Buenavides and Tita Cora Padua, kahit wala mang mga meeting face-to-face, -face, patuloy pa rin ginagampanan ang mga tungkulin nila para suportahan po ang ating parokya. Pang-apat sa mga area coordinators, ang iba po nandito, maraming maraming salamat po. Kung hindi dahil sa inyo, hindi po mapapaabot ang misyon ng simbahan doon sa mga area natin na ang hirap po ngayon puntahan dahil alam naman po natin ang kondisyon. Pero nakikita ko po sa mga FB posts ninyo, patuloy niyong, patuloy kayong nagdarasal, patuloy niyong ginagawa ang ga dapat gawin doon sa inyong mga chapel areas. What is important is yung prayer na kailangan ng bawat isa sa atin. Kaya maraming salamat mo po, area coordinators, at kayo po ang nagiging uh, connection mula sa malaking simbahan patungo doon sa mga area na hindi namin mapuntahan sa panahon ngayon. Maraming salamat po. At muli, at ang uh, panglima, sa mga religious organizations na hindi man tayo nagkakaroon ng meeting, hindi man tayo nagkakaroon ng mga activities, nakikita ko po sa inyong mga posts sa Facebook na nagpapatuloy kayo at ginagampanan nyo ang iyong mga formations, ginagampanan nyo yung activities na magagampanan nyo sa abot ng inyong makakaya. makakaya. An example to this, ang SSDM na patuloy naghahanap ng pamamaraan para matulungan yung ating mga kababayan, mga parishioners na walang-wala po sa panahon ngayon. At nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga sponsors at I will take this opportunity to thank you dahil po patuloy po tayo nagkakaroon ng scholars at tinutulungan po natin sila ngayon. Hindi man natin sila binibigyan ng uh, Uh, baon sa, simba, sa, sa paaralan, kundi binibigyan natin sila ng subsidy sa kanilang mga internet ng kailangan. Kasi yun po ang pamamaraan ngayon para po mag-aral. Kaya doon po natin sila tinutulungan. Other sa, uh, other sa tuition fee ay tinutulungan din natin sila sa kanilang mga load na para makapagpatuloy sila sa kanilang pag-aaral. At hindi po naputol ang scholarship natin at meron pa rin po tayong mga scholars at pinadala na mga mag-aaral sa kanilang, kanilang pag-aaral sa panahon ngayon. Another is yung family apostolate, na kung saan ay patuloy silang nagkakaroon ng formation, lalong-lalo sa mga ikakasal. Headed by Tita Emily at, at Tito Lindy, at saka si Clint, at saka yung ibang mayo, na patuloy po sila nagkakaroon ng pray na seminar. Akala ko hindi natin magagawa pero nagagawa pa rin natin kahit ngayong pandemya. At hindi po ihihinto natin ang patuloy na ibibigay nating formation sa mga nangangailangan. Ganun din po yung mga Bible apostolate na every Wednesday nagkakaroon sila ng sharing Bible formation na akala natin mahihinto, akala ng demonyo mahihinto, hindi po. Yun ang pagkakamali niya at patuloy tayo nagkaroon ng pagkakataon na magkaroon ng paghuhubog sa salita ng Diyos. Ganon din po ang Legion of Mary, ang lectors and lay ministers na kahit man limitado yung ating pamamaraan, pinagpapatuloy nila yung kanilang misyon at ibinibigay nila yung kanilang sarili sa simbahan. Ganon din po yung Mary's Altars Guild, nakita naman po natin na kahit man kunti lang ang pwedeng mag-attend ng fiesta at pinaparamdam pa rin natin na fiesta ngayon. At patuloy silang nilang ginagampanan yung pag-decorate sa ating simbahan. Kasi minsan akala natin yung simbahan ay walang tao, pero meron pa rin po tayong mga binibigay na decoration para sa ating Diyos. Ganon din po yung, yung Neo, na kung saan every Sunday, 
Every Monday, every Wednesday, meron po silang formation through Zoom. At hindi po yun naging balakid sa atin para ipagpatuloy ang kailangan formation ng ating mga parokyano. Ang Mother's Altars Guild, I mean, I'm Mary's, I mean, uh, MBG, na kung saan ay patuloy nilang uh, inaasikaso ang kailangan sa Eucharist, kahit man malayo ang isa't isa, ay patuloy pa rin pong natin ibinibigay ang tamang uh, preparation para sa Eucharist. At sa kayong katekisem, before, akala natin hindi magagawa, pero nagawa po na yung na Father TikTok, na yung mga kabataan ay patuloy na hubugin sa pamamagitan ng Facebook. So with this, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, napagpatuloy natin ang kailangan natin gawin. Hindi man lahat, pero ganun ang ginagawa ng simbahan. Hindi nahinto ang simbahan dahil sa virus, kundi lalo tayong nagkaroon ng challenge. At ipapaharap natin sa demonyo na meron tayong Diyos na hindi tayo pababayaan. Meron tayong Diyos na mas mataas para as mabigat, as mas malakas sa Kanya. So maraming maraming salamat po. And lastly, to our sponsors, maraming maraming salamat po at sa inyong pagiging isang pagbigay Patuloy po natin natutulungan ang mga walang-wala sa panahon natin ngayon. Yung sponsors po, sponsors po natin ngayong fiesta, thank you very much po. Diyos na po ang bahala gumanti sa inyong kabutihan. Ganon din po yung mga presidents ng, lab, ng iba't ibang subdivisions sa ating procession kahapon. Maraming salamat po sa suporta nyo at pinatuloy nyo po ang ating imaheng or Lady of Consolation sa inyong mga subdivisions at ganoon din po sa ating mga area chapels para po bumasbasan po tayong lahat. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, there is a lot to give thanks for. When we're going through difficult times, don't forget, God is with us and He is in control of everything. That's why we trust in Him. Happy Fiesta po. And we continue to ask our Blessed Mother to console us, to pray for us, that we may experience the healing that we are asking from His Son. We pray for the healing of the world. Happy Fiesta po. Thank you, Father Gideon. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who in his loving providence wanted to save the humankind through the blessed fruit of the womb of the Virgin Mary, fill you with his blessings. Amen. May the protection of the Virgin Mary by whom you have received the author of life, accompany you always. Amen. To all of you who are gathered today to celebrate devoutly the solemnity of Our Lady of Consolation and all those who are in their homes, may the Lord grant you the joy of the Spirit and the goods of His kingdom. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thanks to